Hi, Mr Corsi here. Here's a question involving two cartons of popcorn. We're told their heights and we're told their volumes. The question A asks us to show that they're not mathematically similar. Let's have a look, first of all then, at what we mean by scale factors for mathematically similar objects because that's going to be the key to solving this question. So here's a cube, one centimetre by one centimetre by one centimetre, and we've doubled all the lengths to get two centimetres by two centimetres by two centimetres. Now, if we look at what happens to the lengths between the two, we've doubled all the lengths in this larger, similar mathematically similar solid to this first one, all the lengths have been doubled. What about the volume of the second one? Well, if you look at this and determine the number of cubes that are now in it, you'll see that there's eight cubes. To get volume, length times breadth times height, and each of these factors has been doubled. We double the length, we double the length, we double the height. So we've doubled, we've multiplied the volume of the small one by eight to get the larger one. And you'll notice that to get the volume scale factor, the volume scale factor, we have cubed the length scale factor. Now that's an absolutely crucial fact for solving both parts of this question. That the volume scale factor provided the two objects, the two solids are mathematically similar, the volume scale factor will be the length scale factor cubed. So that's the crucial fact. Hang on to that. So let's look at these. There's the small carton, there's the large carton. Facts we know about them, 16 centimetres for the height, 24 centimetres from the height for the height. So we know that the length scale factor will be multiplying the 16 by 24 over 16. Put the large number on the top to find the scale factor. Notice that 16 times 24 over 16. The 16 scans only are left of 24. So to get from 16 up to 24, we multiply by 24 over 16. What's the volume scale factor? What have we done? Well, the volume of the larger one is 1125 cubic centimetres. The volume of the smaller one is 560, 576 cubic centimetres. So we can work out the volume scale factor. It's the larger number, again, the larger number divided by the smaller number. So how do we determine if these are mathematically similar? If they were mathematically similar, this volume scale factor would be the length scale factor cubed. So let's have a look at the length scale factor and let's cube it. So that's 24 over 16 cubed. Let's find out what that comes to. So here we go, 24 divided by 16. And that gives us 1.5. We then have to take 1.5 and cube that number. What do we get? 3.375. Now that we have to compare with the volume scale factor. If they're similar, they will be the same number. So let's compare 1, 1, 2, 5 divided by 5, 7, 6 with this 3.375. Volume scale factor is not equal to the cube of the length scale factor. Volume scale factor is 1.95 and so on. So we need to write a conclusion so the length scale factor cubed 
is not equal to the volume scale factor. And what's the conclusion? The cartons are not similar, mathematically similar. So that's part A of this question completed. So let's now look at part B of the question. We're told that this large carton has now been redesigned and its volume is now 1,500. But the crucial thing now is that the large carton is mathematically similar to the small carton. So the small carton hasn't been changed. It has a height of or a depth of 16 centimetres and it still has its volume of 576 cubic centimetres. This redesigned carton, we have no idea what the depth is. That's the whole question. We have to calculate that. And we do know that the volume now is 1,500 cubic centimetres. So these are the facts we're given and the fact that they're mathematically similar. So we now know that the length scale factor here is the, the cube of that length scale factor gives you the volume scale factor. So let's look at the length scale factor. And what is the length scale factor? Well, we're comparing this depth D with 16, so it's the larger one, we know D will be larger, divided by the smaller one. So that's the length scale factor. And what's the volume scale factor? Again, it's the larger volume divided by the smaller volume. And since these two cartons are mathematically similar, What's the connection between these two scale factors? Well, this volume scale factor is the cube of the length scale factor. So, since they are mathematically similar, then d over 16 cubed will be the same as 1,500 over 576. The cube of the length scale factor will be equal to the volume scale factor. So here's a little equation to solve. First of all, let's get rid of this cube. The opposite of cubing is cube rooting. So we cube root both sides. That's the action we take. So that cube will disappear and we find the cube root of 1,500 over 576. Still wanting d on its own. We have to get rid of this divide by 16. So we multiply both sides by 16. So that'll give us d on its own. And whatever this number is, the cube root of 1,500 over 576, whatever that number is, we multiply it by 16. So there's the calculation we do to get the depth of this redesigned uh, carton. So let's look at 1,500. Let's divide it by 576. So that number, we're looking for the cube root of that. So on my calculator, I don't have a cube root key. I'd have to raise it to the power one third. So it's that number raised to the power one third. If you've got a cube root key, it's certainly a lot easier than doing that. So there's the cube root. And what do I do with that? Multiply it by 16. So there's my final answer. It's 22.01, etc. So the depth is approximately, and I'll take it to three figures, 22.0 centimetres. That's the three significant figures. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video.